Hello YouTubers. In this video, I'm going to show you this uh, 2015 uh, 4.5 cubic feet capacity Samsung washer. This is not a black stainless steel, but a charcoal. It's, uh, it's like a dark gray. Yeah, some someone call it uh, dark gray, some always call it charcoal. That's what it is. Let me show you this. This could be this could be my favorite uh, front loader washer. Why? Because it's got the uh, bi the biggest bearings on a on a Samsung washer. Even though it's the four point five, uh, let me uh, tell you the five point zero and the five point six, which is a special model. Five point six, remember, is not a standard size. A 5.6 is not a 27 inches, what is, is like 30 inches instead, it's, so be aware of that, those are really huge, they won't even fit in uh, most houses. So this uses the same bearings as the others, as the 5.0 and uh, 5.6, which means that it's very, uh, it's very reliable, this is a very reliable washer, I'm already got it into the uh, test mode. The, the way you get into a test mode on this one is that you press these two together and the power, the power button, the three together and, and all the, of the uh, lights uh, uh, light up on the, on the, on the uh, display. As you can see right now, I got it on the uh, test mode. It's already moving. The main difference between uh, a front loader and a, and a top loader is that these are a little quieter than uh, than most uh, top loaders, but also these are faster. All right, a, a top a front loader is usually you you can uh, do a normal cycle in about 40 45 minutes, a quick cycle in like 25 minutes instead of 40 minutes on a on a top loader. These are quite fast. Right now I'm doing the uh, wash, no water in it, but I can put some water if I want to. This way, that way I'm testing the uh, the water belts on, on this. That's the temperature, that's another, another belt. Another one, should this, the next one it should be on the front. See that? It was already spraying there. It's got two different belts, two different positions on the, on the top seal. <laughs> on the door seal, it's got like two sprayers. So yeah, this is a nice washer. See all the function, it's got the, uh, you know, like heavy duty, normal. All these are with the steam is available. This kind of washer, it's got like a water heater on the bottom. So, it heats up the water on a higher temperature than it comes from the water faucets. Be careful with that if you do an extra hot. Be careful, it might burn your clothes, it might damage your clothes, okay? Oh yeah, this is the, uh, let me run the uh, spin cycle. It's pumping out the water. And this is the least, it's going to run at 1200 RPMs. Some other model says that only like a thousand or 900. That depends on the model, but these are quite fast. So clothes came out really, really, uh, you know, really dry. They come out drier on uh, the other models. See, I like the the washers that it got the uh, pre-wash. A pre-wash is like a, if a baby throw up on their clothes or they poo, you can put two portions of soap, soap here and soap here, you know, double soap. So it's like a double wash. The first one, all the dirt came out, and the next one is gonna is gonna do like a normal wash. So when you do normal wash, you you only need soap and uh, soap on this one. 
This is for the bleach and the softener. Okay, they're already clean. <laughs> I haven't cleaned the outside. I didn't I didn't do it because I want to do the video before I clean the whole thing. The zero nine is already at the highest speed and this is quiet. Let me stop the cycle. It's got the self-cleaning, which is good. You can you uh, should run this at least one once a year. It's got the delay end. This is like a timer. Every time you press this one, you know, in three one hour. So like I want to do it and someone else is still asleep, you can delay this one like seven hours. So when you come back from work, it will start doing it. And when you get home, it's, it's barely uh, finished. You know, it's not going to be done for, for too long because after like two or three hours, the closing size starts to melt back. So that's a delay. You know, it's got the uh, five different... Uh, Actually, it's four, four different uh, spin speeds and uh, the no spin. I don't know who's going to select that. <laughs> what are you going to do? A wash and a, you know, select no spin. I don't know what's that for. But you got extra rings. I like this one too. Because the soap got me itchy. I always <laughs> like the uh, washes with the extra rings. You know, this got the uh, quick cycle. Let me, let me see how quick would it be if... Uh, if you select just a quick cycle, let's see, there, see, it's almost 25 minutes, that's really quick. So remember this, if you run a quick cycle and you, you increase the soil like normal, normal high, normal heavy, right there, like 20 minutes, it will be almost as good as a normal cycle, but a lot quicker. See, the normal cycle is 40, 45 minutes, so that's like... Well, like 20, 20, uh, actually, no, yeah, that's like 20, no, like 17 minutes faster than a, than a normal cycle. If you select the quick cycle and increase the soil. So what the soil, uh, the uh, soil level means is that what it does is if you increase the soil, not only it extends the time, see, in increases the time, but also it washes harder. Yeah, the washer is, it gets a violent movement, so it works, Oop, so it'll wash better. That's a good thing on, uh, on this type of washers. They, they really they, they really do a good job cleaning the uh, clothes. And I, I actually, the, uh, I like the uh, top loaders uh, rather than the, uh, I mean, the front loaders a little bit than the top loaders that they usually clean even. On some some tab loaders that are not really uh, reliable, some of them only clean the the, the clothes on the bottom and the top one is if, if you do a full load, the top ones it seems like they don't even they don't even move. That's that's one reason uh, some people uh, choose the uh, the the front loaders, but many uh, many Sansus do a good job. I really like the Sansus that they they really clean most of the. Uh, most of the uh, clothes, because they what they do is that they select the right amount of level. They sense the right amount. They sense the uh, they sense uh, they do a good job do sensing the uh, weight or the load you put it in. All right, so that's all I want to show you. All right, you see the uh, the top, which is not small. <laughs> that's a nice size. It's quite big. It's got the spreader on the top. And also the light, it's got a light, so like if you want to see what's inside, and uh, you really, uh, you really, you can, you can really see what is inside. If you want to add or remove something, you can pass during the cycle. It doesn't matter if it's uh, spinning or, or draining, it'll stop, and you can add or remove. That's one thing I like on Samsung. Some models won't let you uh, stop during some parts of the cycle. I believe only during wash you can stop it, but on. Uh, on this type of washes, even if it's spinning or, or if it's rinsing, it will let you uh, cancel that. Not a spin, not cancel, but pass the uh, the cycle and it'll, it'll open the door. And it doesn't take too long like other models. This one, it takes le less than five seconds. And w once it's a stop, it won't take late. You know, if it's moving, it, it, it'll stop. You know, it has to take uh, time to stop. But once the drum is a stop, it won't take more than five minutes to open the door. So now the models take like a minute and that's, you know, it takes too long. You, some people don't like that, you know, to wait until it opens. 
So yeah, it's got the uh, uh, Faber cycle you can memorize, like you know, like uh, like those on your car radio. You can put the Faber one, but it's only one. Uh, the steam, the extra spin, like it's something heavy. And I already talked about the extra rings and extra, extra the pre-wash. You know, you got the uh, temperature. You can try lock the control panels of the. You know, if you get if you got children visiting you, you can uh, try lock it so it won't do anything until until you unlock it again by pressing these two together. You can turn off the sun, and that's to turn on the light to override it. Right, that's all I wanna I wanna show you in this video. These models are fully recommended. These are very reliable. Not all Samsungs are reliable as this one, but this is a good model. That's all for today. I hope you liked the videos, and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. See you on the next one.